A question. Ah, oh, character. character. Princess Peach is not your typical princess in need of rescue. Her enemies will need to be rescued from her. Deadly vegetable toss. Princess Peach reigns over the Mushroom Kingdom. She flaunts her tiara everywhere, exhibiting her royalty status. There is no need for a soldier's guard. Princess Peach wears a pink dress. As in, this mission is so easy, it will not even disturb the fabric of my dress. Princess Peach does not feel the heat of the desert. Princess Peach does not feel the chill of ice. She only feels the spoils of victory. Away with you, nose bird. The thinning air of the stratosphere means nothing to Princess Peach. Her oxygen level remains royal. Princess Peach's battlefield is wherever her heels lay. Or wherever her heels don't lay. Princess Peach is magical. Witness her float. Princess Peach floats over the land, powered by satisfaction. Extraordinary. She may even turn mid-flight. I wish to float the other way. Princess Peach, initially saved by the plumber Mario, is set to return his odd favor. Mario dreamt of a world named Subcon, run by a vicious king named Wart. Wart has created an evil dream machine, cursing the people of Subcon. Princess Peach doesn't question the idiosyncratic nature of his silly nightmares. She jumps into action, or rather falls. Mario convinced the prince Princess, Luigi, his brother, and Toad, an anthropomorphic mushroom man, to walk up his dream stairs and open his dream door, but did not warn them to pack a dream parachute. No matter, the princess will fall, but remain okay. The same cannot be said for her enemy. Suffer in sand, suffer in sand. Princess Peach will encounter the anonymous shy guys, tweeters, ninjas, and pigeon. Princess Peach uses every ounce of her strength to manhandle her opposition. They will be thrown from deadly heights. They will face explosion. Princess Peach will unearth impartial onions of death to immobilize her foes. The princess shows no mercy. Every so often, the enemies will surrender their love. Princess Peach will snatch their love and transform it into her life force. Ugh. Sometimes, Princess Peach arrives upon a ledge she cannot reach. This is when the princess will bend her knees and power herself. Witness the mega jump. Princess Peach is unafraid of searching within the nether regions of dream and then immediately leaving. It's spooky in there. Princess Peach is fearless of facing Wart's evil guardian, such as the terrorist rodent Mouser or living Fire Fry Guy. And she will eventually encounter Wart, a sick and prideful walking frog, vomiting bubbles of hard, layered with gaudy jewelry. But Wart is helpless against raw vegetables, so he keeps them in food horns that launch in front of him. Princess Peach will capitalize on his salient error. After Wart's demise, the citizens of Dreamland cheer Princess Peach and her heroic friends. She will wave at the winged natives in appreciation, but they will all disappear. Everything will disappear because Mario has dreamt this version of the princess into existence. A battle-ready, skull-crushing princess that is all-powerful. Whether her powers can be manifested in the real world remains to be seen. Regardless, the citizens of Dream will twerk and powerful Princess Peach will exist in Mario's mind every night. And there's nothing creepy about that at all. Next episode. Hello, my name is Pac-Man. Nice to eat you. Quest with me. Learn with us. Enrich your mind. Empower your anchor like our material. Subscribe to our page. Put character into question. Return every Monday for more. A question. Ah, oh, character.